Today we'll be talking to John Fain, a prominent radio host here at ABC 774, about his upcoming trip from Australia to London. Whilst he's away, he's going to be blogging for Now We Are Talking TV. So let's go and have a chat to him about it. John, thank you so much for joining us on Now We Are Talking TV. Can you tell us a little bit, a little bit about the trip and where you're going? Telling you a little bit about the trip's a real challenge. Telling you a lot about the trip is much, much easier because once I start, it's, <laughs> it's a bit hard to stop. Um, we're driving to London, my son and I, Jack, he's 19. Um, we're going to try and do as much of it over land as you possibly can. And obviously you're going to need some technology as far as your communications along the way on your travels. What will be some of the things you'll be using and, and for, for what purposes? Obviously for navigation and those kind of things, but also to communicate back home. Well, this is, um, this is the rod I've created for our back, and um, my first advice to people embarking on this is to decide just how much you want to spend, how much time and effort and money you want to spend on gadgetry. Um, we're a bit gadget heavy, and I'm beginning to sort of think, oh, do I need all this? But um, I don't have a GPS, and other people say, oh, you're mad, you must have a GPS. But, you know, a lot of people have travelled a lot of the world for many thousands of years without it. So I, I might regret that. I might change my mind on it. But of course you've got your cameras and you've got your laptop and you've got your phones and you've got, you know, so much technology now and, and power management and power supply is becoming a real issue too. You've got cables here and cables there and I've got bags and this is the cable for recharging the camera and this is the cable for recharging. Oh, it's mm. just driving me mad. And have you done a, a <laughs> test run? Have you done a trip, say, to, you know, to, out, you know just to the country and countryside in Victoria just to test how some of the, the technology works? That would have been a really good idea. <laughs> so it's literally, literally going to be a trial and error. I've driven around the block with some of the gadgets. I've, um, I've done things like test the satellite phone. I've te tested some of the uh, mobile gadgetry. I've done things like driven around the streets with the uh, laptop running in the car off the inverter, yeah. off the uh, power output. So we've done things like that. I mean, you know, you can go forever. I would have liked to have done a dummy run and a mock-up, but um, on the other hand, I've got a list or a whole page of things I haven't had time to do, and that's just one of them. And what's one of the coolest gadgets? What's the thing that's impressed you the most that you'll be using while you're away? Um, that's a good question. I haven't thought so much about that. Um, the best gadget... I don't know, it's probably going to be the toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told we're going to need that. Well, we've got an EPIRB, we've got a satellite phone. Yeah. The satellite phone's got a data kit so you can put text onto an internet site. There's a laptop, there's a broadband turbo card, there's a digital SLR camera, one for Jack, one for me. There's a flash card movie camera, there's rechargers for all of those, there's hard disk backups for those so that you don't lose your data and you can also burn it to DVD while you go because there'd be nothing worse than doing all this stuff and then losing it. So you can get a sense there of all the sort of electronics Incredible. and everything that uh, are part of it. There's the mobile phones, the car kit for the mobile phones, which are hardwired in so that, you know, if you're spending a lot of time, you've got the aerial to improve the range of the, the mobile phones. Well, it sounds like it's going to be an amazing trip. And to stay up to date with what John is up to overseas, visit www.nowweartalking.com.au. John, we wish you well with the trip.